Congratulations on your baby. These are my patients, Nick and Marina. Nick and Marina are new parents with all new children. There's a lot of stress associated with that. My office is designed for parents with kids. My office is designed for anybody with stress or ailments, actually. But in this video, I'm demonstrating that parents with young children can bring their child in and get the care they need to help de-stress their system. This video has a lot of playfulness and educational bits, so it's a combination of both a fun video and a teaching video. Okay, man. I like doing okay. Pops. It's great. It's exhausting, but great. It sounds like Pops make him sound like he's 90 years old. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a bad that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right, it's fairly is. accurate right now, yeah. That's fairly uh, accurate. Um, no, it just it's great. It's it's the most amazing thing that I never knew about. All right, so let's watch this again. I test her right leg and it's good. And then I test her left leg and it's good. I do the flexor withdrawal reflex on the right and it's good, but it's spongy. I'm gonna loop that so we can watch it again and again. I unconsciously know, even though I'm talking to Nick, the minute I did that test and I could feel that sponginess, I went and tested the left side, came back and tested the right and it went weak. And I know just from thousands of patients what her condition is at this point. I check the right glute, it's strong. The left, the left one is weak. I go back to check the right and it's weak. Once again, I recheck it. So I know her system is fatigued. I check the left pec, it's strong. I check it again, it's strong. I check it again, it starts to, it goes weak. And a fourth time it goes weak. So what this tells me is that her system is fatigued. She's not making enough energy to, and her body can't make the adenosine triphosphate necessary to keep up with muscle testing. Yeah, but she listens to music all day long, whether we're playing or we were... And Marina, who is her she... favorite artist in the world? Elvis Presley is her That's favorite right. artist. It, really? should, it should be mommy, but it's Elvis. Elvis? just calms her down no matter what. So if she's fussy or crying, he puts on Elvis immediately, like even starts smiling. And other music does not work with love. She loves Elvis. All right, so let's talk about what's happening here. What I did is I put a product that helps with glucose stability in Marina's mouth. And then I went back and retested her muscles repetitively because I wanted to see if there was a change in the way her physiology was behaving. So what I want to see is increased strength with prolonged testing. And we didn't see that when we did it the first time through. She started going weak. The reason it was important to address her glucose instability is because she's not testing properly. And so she's actually giving me false readings. She has not only something wrong with her neck or body or whatever's out of place, but she's also having a glucose energy issue, which is masking what her subluxations or where she's dysfunctional in her cervical spine. So this is why we needed to correct that problem first before we went back and tested to find out what she accurately had. So these are our tonic neck reflexes. And Marina should have strength on her left side here. She does not, I recheck it. It's weak, it should be strong. She's trying to grab your clip. Oh, that's fine. Did you want to write some things down, take some notes? First letters are love me, turn me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. So I checked her cervical spine, went back and rechecked her legs with her tonic neck reflexes for the normal pattern. And once I identified it, that tells me that the segment I was working on is the correct segment to adjust. Adjusting her cervical spine on the left corrected one portion of her tonic neck reflexes, but it didn't correct everything, and that's what this test is demonstrating. So before I started Marina's massage, I wanted to check what her leg function was like. And the reason for that is once you start doing the massage, you're going to send proprioceptive signals into the patient's brain and you're going to change the test. So I wanted to see what was there before we started. 
She has bilateral weakness. This is abnormal. So I started to challenge her sacrum, pushing the sacrum in one direction and then the other. I'm looking for the segment in her low back, her hips, or her lower spine that is out of place, causing this dysfunction. She's six months this coming week. What's the pattern? I know there's a pattern. We're one day at a time, Doc. <laughs> I'm going to speed up this portion of the treatment. This is the pattern that I do with all my patients, pattern to adjust their low back, their legs, their calves, and their upper back. So I'm gonna cut this portion of the massage way down. This is a basic massage where we do the posterior upper torso to calm a patient down, going with some heavy elbows to break up some scar tissue and adhesions and to help relax a patient and to prepare them for their day. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.